take a look at this. It's a row perfect session and what we've got is an athlete here who just now starts doing six minute pieces. Three minutes at rate 20. Take a look here where I'm circling the mouse is the stroke rate. And then it steps up after three minutes to 22 stroke rate. On the bottom here you can see a little blue line which represents on the y-axis the power per stroke and on the x-axis a count of the stroke numbers so there they've just stepped up to 22 and you can see how each stroke has broad similarity in terms of the power curve but some small variations because this athlete isn't very consistent in how they're rowing now take a look the rate's going to step up again there it goes up to 24 for the last part of the piece and you can see it's just about to drop off when we get to this vertical blue line there and they rest and that part of the piece is over now they row through the rest period beginning to recover now still just paddling light While you're doing it, you might like to look at this stroke length. And here we go, building back up. Now, back on rate 22. Stroke length now rather higher in the mid-120s. And again, a bit of inconsistency in some of the power delivery here on the stroke-by-stroke -stroke force curve. But you can see that there's a very nice curved uptake. The peak is broadly speaking in a similar place each stroke but this athlete could definitely have more power on the down curve do you see how it's a very straight line that could become fatter to match the bulge here in the upstroke there they just stepped up in rate again to 24 and you can see what happens to the stroke length it tends to shorten a little bit at the higher rates And watch as they step up again now. 26. The last minute of the piece. Hi, and then they wind down. <laughs> now, while they're recovering before we do the third piece, I'd like to take a look at the energy per stroke, which is the joules. Now this doesn't change with stroke rate, unlike watts, which is joules per second. So as we build up now to the third piece, watch the consistency or otherwise of the energy, and you should be able to tell from this whether or not the athlete's skillful as they take the rating up, whether the same amount of energy is going into the stroke. Incidentally, in this third piece, you can tell the athlete's quite a bit more tired because the um, power curve is quite a different shape from the previous two pieces and also the amount of power is much lower. Can you see this line here? It's very similar to the first part of the first piece. So I think they're getting a bit tired here. Here's the rate stepping up to 24. And the energy per stroke is still in the low 400s. And just coming now to the step up to the final bit of the piece. Now up to 25 and a half. A bit more energy now up to the 460s, 450s. And wind down.